a.m. when the purge concludes. Blessed be our new founding fathers and America, a nation reborn. May God be with you all. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I am your Shinobi Master, I am General Gravy, and today I am so excited to bring you guys my review of Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Um, this game is brought to you from software, literally, it's called From Software, and they are the same guys who brought us Dark Souls. Now, Dark Souls, I know, was really, really challenging, oh, especially for me, and I personally, I loved it. I loved the challenge, I loved the story, I love, I just loved it, you know? It was just this, it was a guilty pleasure, so to speak. So when I had heard about this game, I was really stupidly excited to jump on it. Now, in Sekiro, you are a shinobi and when you essentially reach fruition and you're ready to protect a lord or lords um, you are sent to protect this descendant of an ancient bloodline now when you are introduced to this descendant to when the game actually starts you don't know what happened there it's a blank so you have to spend the duration of the game not only rescuing him but you have to figure out what occurred because you don't know you're kind of in the dark about this it is set in 1500s sengoku japan if i screw this up i'm so sorry i'm bad with names and in this period it was a lot of life and death conflict um you get to see a lot of the mythos in the world like You'll see a bunch of goblins, you'll see Goliaths, you'll see a whole bunch of stuff, which personally, again, with Dark Souls, I was super excited about because From Software really can drum up some cool looking, you know, monsters to fight. So that was always exciting. And the other things, what I found really good about it was a lot of the game is a nod to their previous project with Dark Souls. Like, the openings are dead on similar. Like, I had to, I seriously laughed for like 20 minutes because I, I just, I was tickled by the opening sequence. And it also throws really good nods to games like Ninja Gaiden, which is a classic, and Tenchu, which is another like really, really old school uh, PlayStation game, and it was probably one of the more technical ninja style games that I've played because of the mission setup and how the parameters were so specific. And I really, you know, it's one of my classics personally. Uh, the combat system I found was a lot smoother, <clears throat> excuse me, than uh, Dark Souls and it provided a degree of challenges. Now, another thing about this game is you have a upgradable combat system. So you can upgrade your, I'm gonna call it a sidearm because I'm gonna try to avoid as many spoilers as possible. Uh, you get, you know, upgrades to your sidearm to when you get different variations of that particular sidearm and the combat itself you get like special abilities you get defensive abilities you just get this slew of really cool things that you can do and i think it's really it's just cool like i wish i could come up with a better adjective but it's just really really neat um now the downside because not all games are perfect the healing is really, really sparse. Uh, when I play games like this, I'm a spaz. I, you know, I'll be sitting there mush mashing the buttons and, you know, really trying to nail what I need to, and it doesn't help. A lot of things that From Software makes, like Dark again, Dark Souls, Sekiro, it's all about timing. 
you have to time it, you have to be patient. I'm not a patient person, I promise you. <laughs> and so that adds another degree of challenge. Uh, also, there's no multiplayer, so you can't lean on your buddies to help. So if you screw up, that's all on you. Uh, and, and also with the current state of the game itself, a lot of people, and I've noticed this with a lot of the higher end builds, they were having some frame rate issues, like when they would go into combat and frame rate would drop. Or they would try to scale something like a specific side of the mountain, frame rate would drop. Uh, I really am trying to investigate to see if it's something build specific or if it's a general issue, but right now that's a known issue with the game currently. No, oh, excuse me. Also, the dialogue is kind of dry. It's there are parts like when you talk to other NPCs where it feels stagnant. I don't feel a lot of inflection. It was kind of hard to follow in some parts. And yeah, it just it, there's some engages I just really wasn't in it. Like, I just wasn't paying attention whatsoever because I was just like, oh my god, stop talking. Uh, but for the most part, like, it it was a very, like, the bigger grand scheme of the dialogue, especially, like, with cutscenes or when you talk to uh, important characters, it was really, there was a mood. Not mood, like, uh, mood. It was, a, like, there was an aura about it. Like, you almost had that sense of like this is an important moment or this is really bad so it it could use work you know like if especially if they're planning on a second one but for the most part it was it was interesting to follow like i've always been a pan a pan fan words i've always been a fan of japanese period films like, uh, Sonny Chiba always comes to mind. He always had great, great movies with stuff of that nature. But if you really want something that has a lot of engagement, especially in terms of, like, story and interaction, you may want to pull, get, you know, a nice thing of Insane Labs, get a cup of coffee. You're gonna need it. Um, all in all, I would say for the game, I would give it a 4 out of 5. I really enjoyed it. I thought it really was a unique creation. I've always been a fan of the Japan era, all of the Japan era, um, like samurais and things of that nature. So yeah, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed my little insight into the game and I will talk to you all later. Take care. <laughs>